Hello. This is one of my favourite paintings by one of my favourite artists, Keith Shackleton, and the subject, dear to my heart, an albatross rounding Cape Horn. All my life I've been a seabird enthusiast. I've studied them, I write about them in books, I paint them. Albatrosses are iconic, magnificent creatures. They live basically as long as we do, 50, 60, perhaps even over 70 years of age. They fly over 600 miles in a single day. They pair for life. They are without doubt special creatures. Over the past 20 or so years, I've been greatly concerned about the decline in seabird numbers, but particularly in the decline of albatross numbers. Their piscatorial, seagoing lifestyles bring them into contact with the fishing industry. And hundreds of thousands of them are killed needlessly each year on baited hooks with squid and fish in the longline industry. Fishermen do not want to catch or kill seabirds. They can't sell a dead albatross. They want to catch fish. Up until recently, there seemed to be no solution. The hook pod could eliminate the deaths of not just albatrosses, but other seabirds too. It is a simple but clever invention which completely covers and protects the barb of the baited hooks as they enter the water. When the hook is clipped into the hook pod, nothing can get on to the hook until it sinks to some 20 meters. A depth that most seabirds cannot reach. It is then and only then that internal pressure allows the hook to escape from the hook pod. Our baited hook is now fishing for fish and not for seabirds. Ingenious and simple, the hook pod.